Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we will discuss about what is Laravel helper and how we can use Laravel helper and how to create a custom helper function. Also, we will know about how to create a helper files. Right? Basically, helpers in Laravel are built-in utility function and you can call this function from anywhere from your application. Means there will have a separate file for helper and all the helper functions will be there and from anywhere from your application you can call this when you need that right so you can create your own helper function for your own use so let's see how we can uh, create a custom helper so basically this is my project directory so this is the app by default you will not get the helper folder here but if you want to create helpers then you can create a helpers inside the apps folder right and inside the helpers whatever will create basically it will treat as helper so just like i am creating my helper so simply write my helper dot php basically it will create a helper function okay now suppose if i am going to write any function suppose uh, get message right anything get message i want to print some message from here actually this will have a php tag so initially it will start with php tag and simply i just returning some message written uh, learning points youtube channel okay so whatever just write a simple text so uh, now I just going to call this function from anywhere from our application so first I will just going to create a controller and from the controller I will just going to show you how we can call this so simply I uh, just create a controller php artisan make colon controller suppose my controller name is uh, write anything suppose a helper test controller Okay. so it will create a helper test controller into your application so just go inside the app http controller sections so you'll get helper test controller okay so as we created my helper but uh, the system or my laravel application how will they know that i created a helper function so before that we need to register so before using this function we need to register this helper function uh, uh into our application so how we can register so you can check we have a composer.json okay so composer.json there you have a auto load section so if you just check there is a auto load section and here you can write anything so here you can add in files uh, right in this way simply just uh, create a files and this will be a array okay so here simply uh, just add the path of the uh, helper function so this is my path so just um, copy the path and just paste it here inside a double invert comma so i don't need to write these things we need to just provide the path from the app okay so app helpers my helper dot php so helper path is added into your composer.json but to use inside my application we need to dump our uh, composer or we need to dump the autoload sections so i just going to uh, dump this so simply just going to dump the composer um, dump autoload okay so just enter this so generating optimization autoload files okay so these are registered now if i uh, just uh, create a function into my helper test controller uh, suppose i'm just going to create a function or simply write a public function mm, anything just to write any name uh, suppose i just suppose just to write a check helper okay so check helper is the function name as we load it the file into the autoload section so we can call this function from anywhere okay so simply uh, just call a get message function 
all right and simply just uh, store the data into the bell and simply i just going to print from the browser so i just returning the output return bell okay now uh, just uh, register this helper test controller into my application and uh, then you can call this so just go to the route section so just go routes web.php and just to register the controller so simply write app http controllers uh, the helper test controller okay use app http controllers and helper test controller right so these are added now let's call this so simply and just write route um, simply write get so I just going to hit the URL in our browser so just I using the get so here write check helper okay now just comma and let's call the function so simply write in this way sorry uh, the my function name is here uh, the gate uh, sorry check helper so simply write this and just go to this url it will show the output from the helper so before that we need to start the server so php artisan server okay now just go here in the browser and just go to the url so we are getting learning points youtube channel basically these are coming from helper okay so just these are coming from here now i said that we can call this function from anywhere my application so if i just go to any other sling suppose uh, if i just go to my home controller suppose there is another controller is home controller and uh, let's create a function suppose uh, sorry uh, let's get a function here right public function suppose uh, inside the home controller uh, suppose write helper check okay and here just write the same things so just i'm just going to copy and paste from here actually i'm going to call this so you can see the home controller is not registered so i just need to register in the same way when we uh, register as a helper test controller so this is my home controller so just right here and create another url uh, that is check from home okay so just write in this way check helper from home okay this will be in the prominent okay and now just uh, write a home controller here and just uh, points the function helper check okay now just if you go to from this url so you will get the same output so just write 127 the base url and this okay so we are getting these things now if i just uh, going to do some another thing suppose if i just going to add this string into array so we all know that um, how to convert a string into array so we have a export function so suppose uh, here i just taking a um, variable to store the data and simply just return uh, export and here just write the space uh, it will be the splitter so the txt now if i uh, just go here and simply refresh so we are getting this is the like array that is the learning points youtube channel the string is split it into the array so it will get effect from everywhere where we calling the functions all right in the same way if i just uh, going to pass something suppose i just uh, going to create a parameter suppose let's uh, write a message okay and here i just writing by default message is uh, learning points youtube channel okay and simply i just storing this here dollar message 
okay now if i not provide anything that will be extremely okay by default it's showing but if i want to send some data into here we can pass so here write uh, uh, laravel tutorial okay now just refresh this so we are getting the laravel tutorial and here i am not passing anything from the home controller there's a reason if you just refresh this we'll get the default data right so in this way we can make our helper parameterized and uh, we can do anything with our helper we can create our custom functions what actually need uh, frequently will create a helper function so that we can access from anywhere right so this is the basic concept of a helper and how we can do this and what is the purpose next day we actually going to discuss about how to connect database suppose if i need uh, uh, some functions so which will directly relate to a database or which will get data from the database that time how we can do this so next day we'll uh, learn about that things the helper with the database now still if you have any questions about this video or if you face any problem with uh, the helper please comment in the below comment section and thanks for watching this video have a good day bye